say you're asked to write a reaction for something and all you're told is something like hexane burns. Well hopefully this will be really easy to identify as a combustion reaction. Um, just the fact that it says the word burns in it tells you it's a combustion reaction. And so for a combustion reaction that would be right down here we see that it, you have a fuel plus oxygen makes CO2 and H2O. So let's look at see what that's going to look like. Well our fuel is the thing that is burning. It is hexane. Now I don't expect at this point that you know the formula for hexane. Um, usually the formula will be given. If it is not, feel free to Google it. Feel free to uh, just look at your index in the back of your book for the word hexane and find it. Uh, if you do that you'll find that hexane is C6H14. That is not something I expect you to know, but you can find that. Uh, so it's combustion, so the rest, just you can put yourself on autopilot. You can just close your eyes and just write the same thing every time. It's always plus oxygen makes CO2 and water. It's always the same thing. So in a sense, this is really easy. In another sense, sometimes the combustion reactions can be some of the harder ones because they uh, we are not going to skip the balancing this time. By the way, you know you can never skip the balancing. I Sometimes I'll stop and not balance these just because I presume that you would know how at this point and I don't want to waste your time. But on this one I want to balance it with you because it's not necessarily uh, real simple. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just balance it. So we start counting the carbons and we see that the carbon has six on the left and the carbon has only one on the right. So we're going to take that times six. I'm going to put a coefficient of six there for the carbon. Uh, the next thing I'll check is the hydrogen. Hydrogen has a subscript of 14, no coefficient, so it's just 14, which means over here uh, I need to take that 2 times 7 to equal the 14, so I'm going to put a 7 coefficient out in front, which leaves only the oxygens. On the right I have, or on the left I have 2, 2 on the left on the right, I have 12 here, 6 times 2, but I've also got 7 more over here. So 12 and 7 is 19. So what can I multiply this 2 by to get 19? Well, the answer is there is no whole number that I can do that with. The number that I would have to use is 9 and a half. And you might think that looks weird because it does, because we never do that. We're not allowed to balance using fractional or decimal numbers like that. We have to use whole number integers. So this is not correct. So we don't want to do that. However, even though it's not allowed, I would encourage you to go ahead and do it because doing it gets you one step closer to actually being correct. What I'll show you you can do now, you'll notice that it currently is actually balanced. This is a balanced chemical reaction. We have everything accounted for. We've just cheated. We used a fractional number, a decimal number, to as a, as a coefficient. So uh, what I would point out to you though is we could actually double this number and then it would be a... if we doubled that number it would be a an integer. Nine and a half times two is nineteen. And why would we do that? Well, because what if we double this as well? This one becomes a two. This twelve, or I'm sorry, this six here becomes a twelve. I've lost my arrow here. And this seven becomes a fourteen. Well, why did I do all that? Well, because I just took everything times 2, and notice if it was balanced before and I've all I've done is double everything, it's still balanced. If we check it out now, uh, we have 12 carbons here, 28 hydrogens. Here we have 12 carbons and 28 hydrogens, 14 times 2. And here we have 38 oxygens, and here we have 24 
plus 14 is 38 oxygens. And so that uh, is how you would balance that. Now I've kind of made a mess now, but the final answer is 2C6H14 plus 19O2 arrow 12CO2 plus 14H2O. Now on these combustion reactions, I will give you a little pro tip. Pro tip, look at this number here. Look at that subscript on the carbon. In many instances, uh, in the reactions that I give you, if you see that that subscript on the carbon is even, then you're going to have this problem. You're going to have this, oh, it won't come out with integers and I've got to double everything problem. So what you can do is you can kind of look at the beginning and see, hey, does that carbon on the fuel have an even number? And if it does, you can say, well, I'm going to double everything at the end, so why not just double it at the beginning and not have to worry about all that? So that's what I would do if I were you, is if I see, came across a, a fuel that was like C4 or something, uh, or C10H something or something like that, if it was an even subscript, I would go ahead and start by putting a 2 on there. Now when you're done, it's probably a good idea just to check all of your coefficients and make sure that they don't reduce and these don't. And so that is how we do uh, combustion reactions.